What up guys, what's up guys, guys, today we got a special video for you guys, we're gonna review a bottle from the 1990s of Don Julio Reposado. Exciting. But before we get into it, don't forget to comment and subscribe, put down in the comments what you want to see next. So let's go ahead and get into it. A little about Don Julio, um, for those who don't know, the first brand that was made wasn't on Don Julio, it was called Three Magueyes, which is right there. Uh, oh yeah, Lope, you can take a look at the logo. Um, Good lord. It's right there. Um, that's the first one. So Don Julio was invented at a, at a wedding, at a uh, Don Julio wedding. And uh, he made um, special bottles with the name Don Julio. And that's how the brand was uh, made. Um, the old gnome used to be a 19... Um, I mean, it was 1118, and the new one, I believe, is uh, 14 something. I'm not, I don't remember the new one. Um, also, with Don Julio, the old bottles, this is how the old bottles are. And um, very vintage. We're gonna put a picture of the new Reposado so you can compare them. I just couldn't find uh, one in our collection. Uh, the bottle is beautiful, very retro. You know, you have a picture of Don Julio on the back. And, um, you know, speaking of looks, you know, going into those looks, you do have that beautiful picture of Don Julio. You got the really well-aged uh, front bit, you know, the paper that's set up front, aged well, looks nice, dark, brown, aged, beautiful. Uh, the bottle is a <coughs> probably old school bottle, you know, it's brown in nature, nice wooden top, it's got the... the the nip that you, they put in the Mexican, Mexican bottle yeah so it kind of you can't refill it I believe that's yeah. the purpose of it very cool I, I still enjoy those very much uh oh, what else um this is a Mexican release bottle so it's at 38 mm. percent um this is one of the first Don Julio bottles they made uh there's older ones yes but like this is like the first one they did for like the public I don't have the box the box is pretty cool too it's like a white box and it just shows the Don Julio logo and uh, I like it too because like it's still iconic like Don Julio like you look at the new Don Julio one you're like oh snap it came from this because it still looks the same brown bottle red Don Julio logo it doesn't say Tres Magueyes anymore because okay. well they're trying to like hey Don Julio is a big boy brand okay. of this um, town and uh, Tres Magueyes uh, I'm not even sure if they sell it in the United States but they still produce it in Mexico but uh, let's uh, jump into it with the aroma of a 30 year old bottle Um, vanilla. Vanilla. It's a reposado. <sighs> While we're kind of thinking about the smells, what do you tell? What do you know about the price of those? Well, Lopi, the price. I wasn't bored when it came out, but uh, back in the day, tequila was never too expensive. Um, I'm assuming it was maybe like maybe like twenty, thirty bucks. Like must, 30 bucks and yeah. if you if you were to give this a rough estimate of how much that would be today or like, you know a full bottle of this would be today like in the hundreds in resale value yeah probably probably in the hundreds you know if it came with a little box and everything unopened yeah probably in the hundreds okay maybe two uh, depends depends how nice i mean this is a nice one yeah like like the text like it's all there i mean it's open it's almost out but like the new ones when it comes to the box yeah probably in the hundreds too a two to three hundred. Yeah, I, like I said, I'm gonna go back to <coughs> not to skip over mm. what you just said, but the, the smell very vanilla. I mean, this is the most vanilla I've smelled out of a you know a tequila reposado uh, yet. I mean, let, let's go ahead and get into that taste. Oh too. yeah, I already sipped yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's going on with Tommy, folks. Come on. Oh, my kid is a candy shop. That is. Fantastic. Wow, fantastic. That's smooth. Um, I'm getting hints of agave, a bit of vanilla. Very, very smooth. Um, yeah, I enjoy this. This is phenomenal. You know, um, I like to compare it to um to the modern day, maybe um a reposado from um <coughs> Los Gonzales, which is cool because that's like that's the family, well, that's the new uh, factory that's okay. actually owned by the family of uh, the Gonzales, which is Don Julio's uh, family. So that's like the modern uh, 
equivalent, I would say, to this. Uh, but overall, yeah, like, this is good. Like, real good. Oh, awkward silence in here. But man, it's phenomenal. I like this a lot. That is actually pretty, pretty good. Uh, the burn is definitely still there. Right down to the esophagus, but when you have it sit in the mouth for flavor, it is very tasty. Vanilla is prominent. You know, I would be like, oh, wow. It's not just tequila you're tasting, it's vanilla. And a slight hint of something else. I got and, it. Sure. <laughs> Caramel? Um, it's sweet. Yeah, it, it's definitely sweet. It's vanilla and something else. I can't exactly pinpoint that second bit, but it is honestly really, really good. Oh, yeah. I absolutely enjoyed this. Mm -hmm. This is probably one of the best ones we had in a while. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Without a doubt. Oh, yeah. Very smooth. Um, 38% Mexican release. Mm -hmm. Beautiful bottle. I mean, like, awesome. I think uh, I wish I was born like in the night if I knew that'd be pretty cool I'd buy a couple of them see how <laughs> just he keep them locked up in my basement wait until they go to the moon okay but overall yeah dude this this clapped I'm I'm very impressed you know I mean I thought all tequila would taste like old butt cheeks but it did not um let's get into the review Lopi um, yeah so what do you think about the looks looks I'm, I like old stuff you know I like vintage stuff. Yeah. Um, I know. Old Broncos. Yeah. Uh, so I gotta give the looks, man. I I gotta give it a 10 out of 10. First time in the channel. Bam, oh. bam, bam. Um, I love the Don Julio look. I'm just giving you guys a spin. I love that it says Tres Magueyes. I love seeing Don Julio look at me. Yeah. You know, it's cool. Rest in peace, guy. Beautiful, handsome man just staring at us yeah. with those soulless looking eyes in the picture. But a 10 out of 10 out of you, I'd probably give this a 7 out of 10. It's not anything a wow factor. Like, oh wow, it's Don Julio. But, you know, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Go through the floor. <laughs> oh, jeez, come on now. <laughs> you flooded, guys. <laughs> no doubt. Um, but yeah, 7 out of 10 for me. Uh, price wise? Uh, price wise, um, we're going to put unknown. Yeah. Just because, again, it's odd. You know, when it, when it comes to like buying an old car, you have a bring a trailer, you have all that crap. Of course. To like compare prices. When it comes to tequila, you know, you need licenses and all that crap. So it's not um too common to be like, hey, um, I'd like to buy this off you. Okay, keep it on download, guy. You know, wink, wink. But um, <laughs> unknown. Um, would I pay two to three? If, if I'm into tequila and I'm Let, Let's say if this was 150 bucks, would you pay for it? If it was brand new? Or sure, full, like, full bottle oh, brand yeah, new. For, for 150 absolutely, no yeah. question of that. I Let's mean, just say 150 bucks. yeah, absolutely, I would buy this. I, if it was 150 bucks, 9 out of 10, I would get this. Uh, if it was 150, i give it 10 out of 10. Okay. It's retro, tasty, mm -hmm. and it's Don Julio. The good Don Julio, no, not like the other crap we had. <laughs> link in the video in the link. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into the taste. What you think? Um. I really, really enjoyed it. Let me guess, ten out of ten. No, I'm gonna give it a nine point five just to change oh. your, just to change your, uh, your smug look. Yeah, my <laughs> smug look. Okay, what's better than this one? What's better? Since you were than... raving so heavily about it. Uh, an extra, uh, an extra on you. How about it's probably one of the best reposados I had. Like in resp re resp <laughs> There we go. In specifically that, uh, you know, category, would it be a ten out of ten? Yes, but no, because I want to spite you. Oh. <laughs> so, spite me as much as you want. But. So, a 9.5 or a 10 out of 10 without Lopi? 9.9. .9. No, not. Uh, for, for my review, the taste was pretty good. One of the better ones we've had. Uh, so, I'd probably have to give this a 9.9. Nine. Just kidding. 10 out of 10. Good well done. Good. Lopi. Great job, Don Julio. Who says, all, who says old stuff doesn't work? Like the like phones and stuff, you know. Yeah, okay. Like, <laughs> He's a boomer, ladies. Yeah, you know. call me a boomer, Mister <laughs> Old Ass Broncos. All right. Um, overall, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give this a uh, 10 out of 10. Final, final review. Final review. Phenomenal. Top notch. Retro. Iconic. I can't find any bad things to say about it. The only bad thing I can say about it is like I wish I had more. 
Yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. Uh, I think I do have a new bottle at home. I just gotta find it. Like the new old one. Oh, like okay. in the box. That's why I know. That's why I know how the box. It's a white box. So, uh, mm. make, I'm gonna uh, look for uh, look for it so I can take a picture and put it in the video so you guys can see how it looks like yeah. in all its glory. But yeah, um, awesome, awesome, awesome. I, mean, I wish Don Julio would like do a retro line, like with a new bot. So you know how. Like, no, too bad he's dead. No, but like the company. Oh. Okay. Like uh, okay, this year we're gonna make all the old Ripos the new reposados have like the vintage bottle, the vintage logo. That'd be I think that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that would definitely be something. It would definitely be a collector's yeah. kind of thing. Uh, but moving into my final review, I'd have to give this a eight point five out of ten. Oof. Uh, what's holding it back is probably the unknown of price, but still I'd probably pay for whatever it is. Uh, but the other thing holding it back is maybe just the design. Uh, Don Julio's face is just unnervingly staring at yeah, me. Yeah, I right want here. him to look at you guys, so I only <laughs> close up the video. Just zoom in on his face. Just, yeah. Yeah, but 8.5, pretty dang good. Um, only thing holding back is a bottle. And that is my review. Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, let us know if you guys have any old bottles. That'd be pretty cool to know. Yeah. Um, well, that was our review for the uh, 1990s Don Julio Reposado. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to look for more bottles in our collection. Mm -hmm. Just, we have so many bottles that we got to dig through. Um, <laughs> but uh, this is Manny. This is Wolf. Ciao.